Good afternoon and welcome to day four of the KSN Summer Road Trip. And look who has come out to see us at the Boot Hill Museum in the Dodge City area. We left Garden City and you were in Garden City earlier this morning, weren't you? Yes. Uh-huh, he was in Garden City. We went to Ulysses, now we're in Dodge City. The fun has not ended just yet. We're going to continue on our way to Coldwater and then end the day over in Greensburg. Now it is a beautiful day. It's warming up quite nicely. A little bit of wind, but we do have some severe weather to talk about. While we do have mainly sunny skies across most of this. The KSN summer road trip on day four. Our crew is making the turn east on its way back to Wichita. We find Julia Thatcher, Jeff Herndon, Eddie Randall, and Alexis Padilla at a party, sounds like, live at the Boot Hill Museum in Dodge City. Well, howdy, y'all. <laughs> Welcome to Dodge City, Kansas, USA, Boot Hill Museum. We got a show, guys. Yeah, look at the applause we're getting. All right, clearly it's for the performers behind us. We are live right now in the new Variety Theater. They opened up not too long ago, actually over Memorial Day weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we had the pleasure, some of us, of being here at the Boot Hill Museum last year. Mm -hmm. And, of course, all week long, Alexis has been in my ear being like, I've never been to Dodge City, and I, I want to be here. So what do you think? I have loved it so far. The dancers and Miss Kitty yeah. were super nice and excited to see some of the show after this a little bit. Incredible performers as well. Yeah. It's incredible to drive up there was beautiful and that's been a really special part as well just getting to see all of these beautiful parts of our state. I'm just watching Jeff try to contain himself from singing right now. It's hard for me not to sing along. It really is. I, I am, you're right, Eddie. I'm trying to contain myself over here. I hope Are you going to try for a can-can dancer spot? I hear we're going to get a special show a little later here on KSN News at noon. So you want to stay tuned for that? We'll be right back. Welcome back the KSN summer road trip. It has definitely been a journey starting off in Wichita on Monday morning. And after that, we've continued to move out to the west. We are now in the southwest part of our viewing area. We began the day in Garden City, went over to Ulysses, and I asked several of the folks in Ulysses what makes this town so great. And what they said, well, it's all because of the people. It is a giving community. After that, we have now made our way over toward the Dodge City area. And we have a little pup that's trying to escape over here. Hey, come over here. Come over here. Who is this pup? Rick, come on over here. Come on over. Come on. What, what's his name? Oreo. Oreo. Hi, Oreo. How are you? You're a sweetheart, aren't you? Okay, don't escape. Don't escape. That's for sure. Well, we are definitely keeping a close eye on the chances for severe weather here in the Dodge City area across southwest Kansas and also down into the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles. But many of our grandparents, our great grandparents, have told us about the stories of the Dust Bowl era of the 1930s. I want to bring in meteorologist Ronna Williams, who is my road buddy this whole entire week. And uh, tell us a little bit more about in particular 1935 and the Dodge City area. Yeah, this was the month of April back in 35, and you said it yourself, Dust Bowl era. So let's mm -hmm. keep that in mind with what I'm about to say. So there was a really bad dust storm here in Dodge City at that time, and Dodge City actually recorded about 14 days of dense dust. And during that mm. time, uh, during the middle of the day, there were times where it was as dark as midnight. And when it was time to clean up, they actually had to haul away the dust and then water off the streets with hoses. No kidding. That would just be surreal to see something like that happen. And, and when we look at the dry times that we've had, the 1930s, the 1960s, we are coming out of a drought at mm -hmm. this time that is similar to one that we had back in the 1960s. Well, if you look over here toward the American flag, you can see the winds are coming in from the south. That is that moisture supply. That's going to help feed in to the storms that we are expecting to see in some parts of our viewing area, in particular the southern part of Kansas. Let's go ahead and take a look at our Dodge City sky view. We'll see it from a different vantage point. This is located near Wyatt Earp Boulevard. It is the green elevator and uh, you can see we have blue skies. We did have some showers and some rumbles of thunder, some downpours earlier today, but most of that has now faded away. We are awaiting the next batch to get going over the next couple of hours. Welcome back to day four of the KSN Summer Road Trip 2023. We are live at the Boot Hill Museum here in Dodge City. Having a good time. Absolutely. We're going to give you a look at the variety show in here in a second. Those performers have to audition and then they go through a rigorous process to make sure they're ready to perform in front of people. So we're going to give you a quick preview of it. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. All right, folks, it's time that you've all been waiting for the can can.
competition. I get why Jeff doesn't want to do it. He can't compete with them yeah, up there. Yeah, I passed my prime. Yeah, they were so talented. Great job. Wow. Absolutely. The cool yeah. thing, too, about the dancers, I was told a lot of it is generational, too. So they either have family members, somebody, mm -hmm. one of the dancers on stage, her little sister, just performed her first show. So it's definitely a family yeah. thing out here. Mm -hmm. All right, and we are just getting going today at noon. We still have two more stops on the KSN Summer Road Trip for day four. When we're all done here at the Boot Hill Museum, you see my Southern coming out right there, <laughs> we're going to be headed down to Coldwater. You can watch KSN News at 5 for my special story on a couple transforming an old building into an Airbnb and what made them choose Coldwater to make it all happen. And then we'll be at the Big Well Museum in Greensburg and find out what will be close to you on our our website, just go over to KSN.com. And if you do come out, take a selfie with us, submit it on our website to be entered to win a road trip prize pack from Shields. It has a $50 Shields gift card, $100 gas card, cooler, tumbler, snacks, everything you need when you hit the road. Yeah, Dodge City Boot Hill Museum, it does not disappoint. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. No. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Let's wrap up with this TV show by sending it out to Chief Meteorologist Lisa Teachman live in Dodge City. We are going to see some changes here in southwest Kansas. We are located in the Dodge City area. This is also an area that needs to be weather aware over toward Garden City. If you look over my shoulder, you can actually see cumulus clouds that are now beginning to bubble up. And as we discussed this newscast and also earlier this morning with Ronnell and Jack Maney, we are going to see rapid development with these thunderstorms. So we are now beginning to see that we have storms that are going across southeastern Colorado. They will eventually begin to build over towards southwestern Kansas through the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles. All forms of severe weather are on the table from southwest Kansas through the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles. That red shaded area, that is a moderate risk. We're talking about hail from two to four inches in diameter. Also winds 70 to 80 miles per hour and a few tornadoes not off the table. Highs today will be in the 70s and 80s. We're going to continue to keep you advised right here on the road trip and also back in the KSN studios throughout the afternoon and evening. We'll keep you advised ahead of the storm.